I've been an avid Canon shooter for many years, but the speculation of an announcement coming from Canon next week about two new entry-level DSLRs, the 2000D and the 4000D, has really started to cement something that I've been considering for quite a while. I am really hating Canon. In an interview a few weeks ago, Canon's own CEO admitted that Canon had been slacking on the technology front and they needed to start innovating more. This was after they'd released cameras like the 6D Mark II, which had worse dynamic range than their very own APS-C 80D. See, the problem is Canon have got so many different models of camera on the market that it makes it almost impossible for them to release any new models without treading on the toes of something else. And that's something that Canon don't like to do. So they start to sabotage their own models and restrict what features they put into them so that it doesn't cross over with other cameras. Whereas you've got the likes of Sony and Nikon bringing out the A7R 3 and the A9 and the D850 where they just put anything they could fit onto that camera to make it as good as it can possibly be. Because all the other camera manufacturers on the market are trying to come out with new models that are better than the competitors, whereas Canon are trying to come out with new models that don't compete with their own cameras. And now the speculation is that Canon are now going to introduce two new cameras into the DSLR lineup next week. The 2000D and the 4000D. And frankly, they are a joke. Now, let me explain this. The 4000D is rumored to be a new entry-level DSLR that's supposed to be the cheapest DSLR that's ever been made. See, Canon just keep introducing new branches of cameras and it's just becoming too complicated. A few years ago, Canon's lineup was very simple. In full frame, you had your flagship 1D or you had the 5D. Then in crop sensors, you had your flagship 7 series, you had your prosumer 60D, then you had your kind of middle of the road 550, and then you had your entry level 1000 series. But then Canon just kept introducing new lineups and splitting lineups up. So now it's just stupidly complicated. In the full frame, they introduced the budget level 6D, which makes sense. But then in the APS-C, you've got your 7 series, you've got your prosumer 80D, then they've taken what was the three digit D series and split them into two. So we've now got the 77D and the 800D. Then you've got your thousand series camera that's at the 1300. Then they've introduced the 100 and 200D, which were smaller than the thousand series, but better in specification. So sits somewhere around here as well. Now they're talking about introducing a 4000D as a complete new entry level. Now let's look at the specifications of this new 4000D. First thing you'll notice is the lens mount is plastic. So this thing is absolutely bare to the bones basic. But then in terms of specifications, we have 18 megapixel sensor, a Digic 4 Plus processor, ISO up to 6400. Now let's see, those specifications sound exactly the same as the 550D that was released in 2010. So Canon are making a brand new camera in 2018 that has the parts from an eight year old camera. That is not innovating. That is money for old rope. I mean, I get that it's an entry level DSLR, but come on Canon, you have got enough cameras in your lineup already. You cannot move for entry level DSLRs. What you need to do is stop focusing on this end of the market Pull your head out and start working on the cameras at this end of the lineup because you are massively starting to flag behind Sony and Nikon. They don't care about treading on their own toes. They will put whatever needs to be put into a camera in order to make it sell. Take a leaf from their books, please. But what do you guys think? Do you think I'm overreacting? Or do you think Canon have lost the plot? Leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video.